If I beat myself with a whip, can I save the world or at the very least wash my sins away? Let's see what science has to say. From medieval flagellants trying to save the world from black death to Shia Muslims commemorating the suffering of Imam Hussein, the religious self-infliction of pain pops up throughout human history. But what can science tell us about the relationship between pain and redemption? Strip away all the complexities of consciousness and you'll find that pain's little more than negative reinforcement stimuli. The stove's hot, don't touch it. But humans make everything more complicated. We introduce such concepts as sin and redemption justice and punishment, defilement and purification. And so our very concept of pain becomes muddy. In 2011, psychological scientist Brock Bastian of the University of Queensland, Australia set out to understand why. Here's how his study went down. Bastian's team recruited young male and female test subjects under the guise of a mental and physical acuity study. The researchers asked the test subjects to write a personal essay about a time in which they felt they had ostracized someone. And the aim here was to make them feel guilty or immoral or ashamed. Meanwhile, a control group wrote personal essays about just a routine memory. The researchers instructed both the immoral volunteers and the control group to hold their hands in a bucket of ice water for as long as they could stand it while others dip their hand in a soothing bucket of warm water. The question here, would immoral test subjects punish themselves with longer dips in the cold water? Would they feel better afterwards? And the answer on both counts was yes. Those who were primed to feel shame about past actions dipped their hands in the cold water for longer durations, described the dip as more painful, and expressed reduced feelings of guilt afterwards. Bastian argues that this experiment illustrates our culturally all understanding of pain. We've come to process it not only as negative environmental feedback, but as justice and punishment. On a psychological level, a little bit of self-inflicted pain rebalances the scales. So one can imagine our medieval flagellants retiring from their rights, bloodied and pained, but psychologically still. While ultimately helpless to alleviate the horrors and the suffering of the world, they feel as if they've atoned for their own sins and lightened the load for the rest of humanity. So right now I want you to summon your own shameful memory and tell me what do you do to alleviate the guilt? And do you have a cup of freezing water handy? Be sure to let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you.